Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. Today I'm doing a video at the request of a few of the community users. It's about Windows games running on the Anbernic Win 600. So I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in. We're going to start with... Actually, I'm going to skip Assassin's Creed because honestly, this is the first time I've ever had to do a second take on a video. I got about 6-7 minutes in and then I realized my mic wasn't plugged in so I was talking to nobody. Um, so... I obviously started the video again, but in that time I had tried Assassin's Creed and it does boot, but it is laggy. So we're going to start with Bully here. I heard an issue about this game may not have sound, but there is a fix. I haven't tried the fix. I don't know if it has sound, but let's find that out right now. It can take a minute sometimes when you're using wine. Also, always ignore that force quit message. Gnome is full of crap. So I definitely have the no sound issue, but if you literally just Google bully wine no sound, it'll give you a solution for how to fix it. Also, the game didn't crash. I alt f 4 it because I have no sound. I may or may not have to restart the device. Wine itself seems to be this picky beast where if it's working fine, it's working fine, but as soon as you try to do something and it runs into a bug or an error, it really just doesn't want to work anymore, which is what's happening right now. So I'm going to restart and we're going to sit here and hang out together for a moment and talk about nothing. I don't know about you guys, but it's like 40 degrees Celsius here today. It's ridiculous. Far hotter than I'm comfortable with. Device is back on, by the way. Okay, so now it's going to take a minute. It's going to boot Emulation Station, and you're going to see it take a literal minute. The reason why is because I've got like two terabytes of games on an external drive, and that's what it's loading from. Theoretically, I could just load the games from inside Emulation Station too. I don't have to do it from the Windows, or not the Windows, sorry, the Ubuntu desktop, but it's just easier to do it because I can just mouse back and forth and whatever. I wasn't kidding when I said it was going to take a literal minute. That was a real thing. Also, while we're here, in the next couple of days I'll be doing an 
AYN Odin video as well. Uh, TJ has released a Debian SID image, and I've been able to build emulation station and a lot of other stuff on there. It came with RetroArch pre-installed. I put in all the ARM64 cores, began testing stuff, and I think maybe tomorrow I'll probably do a video on that as well and give you guys a sneak peek at what's going on there. Also, you can go to the Valhalla Git and you can download the Linux from there, the same place as Windows. I'll be linking all that stuff in the video. I'm just giving you guys a heads up now. All right, so here's the Windows games. You guys have seen this in other videos. I don't got to go too into detail there. But we left off at Capcom, so I'm going to try that again. Oh, I didn't like that game. I assume this should work. Right, well, Cuphead works fine. I happen to know Dark Souls doesn't work, so I'm just going to skip this. And this, I believe, does, so if there's an issue, I'm just going to leave Emulation Station.
It's having an issue with HDMI. It doesn't do this on just the device. Bravo team, entry secure. Moving to change positions. So that issue that you saw there, apparently it happens on HDMI, but it does not happen on just the device in handheld mode. That's an HDMI only issue. It's not uh, displaying at the correct ratio. There might be an option in the game, but I don't want to do that with you all having to watch that flickering. All right, so Far Cry 3 threw an error and exited. I mean, in a perfect world, it would be nice if every game I tried worked, but that's not going to happen with Wine, and especially not because a lot of games have custom workarounds, and you're just going to have to Google it and figure out how, to be honest with you. When playing in handheld mode, this doesn't happen. It's full screen. The game itself works fine. It just doesn't work, apparently, when it's in uh, HDMI mode. That one works okay. 
I had an issue with seven. That's the only one that I did try earlier. So we're going to try eight now. It doesn't mean seven doesn't work. It just means that it doesn't work. Um, I have the, what was it, GOG, I believe, version. I don't have the Steam version. The Steam version, I suspect, should work fine. If Final Fantasy VIII decided not to load, it's going to mess with wine, I suspect. Anybody who watched my previous videos knew that this game just randomly wouldn't boot when it felt like it, and it drove me crazy. All right, well, that game worked okay. I'm going to try my best not to make this another hour-long video. I'm shooting for 30, 40 minutes tops. I say that, but... Uh, I mean, we'll see how it goes. This is a 2018 game, by the way, which kind of just proves that it, it newer games can run if they're not super demanding. No, you didn't burn your toast. That's the smell of nuked London still smoking in the background. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Los Scandalous Dam take on the nuked London. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear with Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, bah! Uh-huh, it's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take 
like a shampoo and ouzo. Stick your head in a toaster oven. That'll warm you up. A one-legged girl bamboo could have kicked that ball farther. Yeah, that's the first time I heard you compliment your wife, Rick. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. That was a little choppy, but it is playable. I think Outrun displays in windowed mode. I'm I'm quite sure there's a way to fix it. I just don't know what it is yet. There might be a config file somewhere or something. In fact, I'm positive there's a way to fix it because I've seen it full screen in other videos, so I just don't know what it is. Get ready. Race for the top position. That game works fine, just gotta make it full screen. This one I think works fine, I remember trying it at one point. Oh, maybe it doesn't because I didn't install Uplay. Oh, never mind. Okay, so you have to install Uplay for that, but you can install Uplay, I'm just not gonna make you watch me do that. This is also full screen when you're not in HDMI. Resident Evil 4. I 
Oh, there we go. Screen went black for a minute. I had no idea what happened. Game doesn't seem to be working, though. That seems to be what happened. I think it tried to put the screen into a different mode and failed, and that's what we ended up with. This is definitely a GOG game, so if it doesn't load here, you're going to want to use Lutris with it. Oh, I stand corrected. That one's a really easy game to run. As long as it boots, we know it works. I don't really have to go into a deep dive there. We're going to give this a minute and see if it loads. Nope, guess not. It seems like with wine compatibility is about 60-40, 60% working, 40% not. So the game works, but the controller does not work, which means you're going to need a third-party program to bind um, keyboard to joystick. They do exist, though, and there is free stuff, so it's not a big deal, but just be aware you're going to have to do that.
So you got to find the right setting, but Tomb Raider 2 works. 3 did not. Let's try 1 real quick. <laughs> I don't know where the launcher is. I do now. Kind of worried I messed it up by trying to launch the other thing. I'm going to go try to launch something different, and if it doesn't work, then we're just going to have to uh, reboot real quick, unfortunately. Well, that sucks. I think I have to reboot. Like I said, wine is pretty stubborn. As soon as something goes wrong, it doesn't like you anymore. And then you're kind of screwed and you have to reboot the whole device. Almost booted up again. Uh oh. I guess Turok just takes a minute to open. Okay, rookie. Time to get your feet wet. There are no innocents here. No prisoners. No witnesses.
Who's the new guy? I like his hair. Hey. Your name's Kura, right? I know all about you. Officer on deck! All right, ladies. We've only got 30 minutes till we touch down, so I'm only gonna say this once. Our target is Roland Kane, leader of the legendary Wolf Pack. Three years ago, Kane went AWOL. No one's seen or heard from him since. We've tracked him down to the colony on the planet below. Now, what they're doing there is not our concern. Our mission is simple. Find Kane and bring him back to Earth, period. All right. Now I want you to meet Turok. Turok? Turok's here to help us track Kane down. He's a former member of Wolfpack. Yeah, before he screwed him over. Slade, can it? He can't be trusted. All right, meeting's over. Let's get ready to roll. Let's get down there, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Jeez, man. Hey, you guy. Should be too. Over here. Let's go. We you nuts? There's a freaking blitz. Follow me to the army. Give me more credit than that. You want to follow me up this ladder? Turok seems to work okay. Also, keep in mind, this is just using Wine HQ. You can still use Lutris and Steam to launch games. This is only one of three options. So, despite having about a 60-40 compatibility rate, it's still only one of three ways to run Windows games on Linux. Ultra Street Fighter 4! I recommend using Steam first and Wine second. The craziest and wildest fighters have assembled for the world. That game is working okay. This is another GOG game, so arguably it might run better under Lutris, I have no idea. It should run okay from Wine 2, but Lutris is your go-to for GOG games, just a heads up.
the controller wasn't working properly on that one. With that, that actually brings us to the end of our current testing. I only had about 20-ish games, give or take, here. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.